Hey guys, this is Tonner and today we have some exciting, I don't know if it's exciting news, uh, some very, very interesting news that is basically going to be changing Commander forever. Um, this is insane. Uh, there has been, you know, a whole bunch of drama over the last, what, wait, week, two weeks? I think it's been a week, right, uh, around, you know, the bans that the Rules Committee did for Commander. Uh, lots of crazy stuff happening. But essentially what it's boiled down to is the Commander's Rule Committee did four bans most recently. Nardu, because it's just an unfair card to kind of play, an uh, unfun card to play against. Jeweled Lotus, Dockside, and Mana Crypt, all because of the fact that they are incredibly strong cards. Uh, after those bans... There was still a not. <laughs> there was a uh, portion of the community that were not happy about them. Uh, one because it tanked the value of those cards, essentially making it so that those cards weren't playable in any format for some of them. Uh, other ones, you know, they've dropped hundreds of dollars and everything. Uh, and I will say straight out the bat. I would potentially pick up Jeweled Lotus and Mana Crypt and Dock Sides and shit right now if you want to, because there is potential they're going to be unbanned. However, from that, there was a huge harassment towards a bunch of people from the community rule, uh, the Commander Rules Committee, which is a community-based rule committee. It was five people from the community. Whether you felt that they did their job well or not, that's not what we're talking about here, but going and harassing them. I really hope that you just leave the fucking magic community because you guys are ridiculous. Sending death threats to people just because they banned your cardboard is crazy i i honestly i very much am a um a positive person but towards those people i really hope you nothing but the worst um it's ridiculous. Anyway, so from that, it basically got to the point that these people felt unsafe, uh, whether it's unsafe if they make a band that people didn't like or, you know, unsafe just generally being able to be a part of the community anymore, because if they did something that people didn't like, they will get threats, which is just crazy. So what has happened from here is essentially those people will be stepping down. The rules committee will be dissolved uh, into, you know, they're going to still be around. They're still going to be working with wizards. But from now on, wizards is going to be taking management of the commander format. Uh, they're going to be, uh, the rules committee is giving com management of the commander format to the game design team of wizards of the coast. So this is very, very interesting. Now, I will say straight out the bat uh, that it, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing as uh, some people are making out. Like Gavin Verhe obviously works at Wizards and I think that he's amazing for Commander and has been bonkers great for so many different sets and stuff like that. I do think that, you know, Commander has grown into this huge kind of beast that is definitely difficult for such people like a community-based thing to be able to manage and everything. So we're going to see as to how this exactly goes, right? Um, I, I don't know if this is going to be a good thing or a bad thing. It's something that's kind of up in the air. I know that, again, a lot of people are going to say it's a bad thing um, or be cautious about it. That's where I'm sitting is I'm going to be cautious about it. I don't think it's necessarily a good or bad thing, but it could be either right? We'll have to see as to how it goes, because now, as some people said, now the, the foxes are guarding the hen house, um, which, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, we'll have to see, right? I'm very much on the kind of, we'll have to see kind of area at the moment. So, this is a huge thing. Uh, it does mean that they are going to be reassessing the bands list. So, all this part here is just saying about, you know, them taking charge of it, why they're taking charge of it, the Commander Rules Committee being, you know, threatened and stuff like that by you fucking idiots out there. Um, and then, you know, saying about how they opened up a new Commander News channel within the official Discord. There's going to be a weekly MTG stream starting tomorrow to talk about too. So what's next? While this is still early, we want to share one of the things that we've been working on with the Rules Committee, a more objective approach to deck power level. So essentially what they're going to be doing is boiling it down to four power brackets. Cards can be banned in certain brackets, for example, um, and make it kind of easier for people to be able to have that kind of rule zeros discussion where they're like, look, 
mine is a power four team. So, um, it is, isn't anywhere finished yet, but the part of building with the community, we're opening it up to feedback, thoughts, and your version of what how it looked like. Think of this as an open beta. Here's the idea. There are four power brackets. Every commander deck will be placed into one of the four, examining the cards and the combinations in your deck. So I guess that means like Sanguine Bond alone isn't going to be like a thing or Exquisite Bond, Blood, Exquisite Blood. But if you have them both in the same deck, it may pump you up. Um... Comparing to them to lists will need the community to help create. You can imagine brackets one. Uh, bracket one is the baseline of an average precon or below, and bracket four it's high power. For the lower tiers, we may lean on a mixture of cards and a description of how the deck functions, and the higher tiers are likely defined by more explicit lists of cards. For example, you can imagine bracket one has cards that can easily go into any deck: swords to plowshares. Grave, Titan, uh, and Cultivate. Whereas Bracket 4 would have cards like Vampiric Tutor, Armageddon, and Grim Monolith. I'm actually surprised that Armageddon's on here. Cards that can make games too much more consistent, lopsided, or fast. Now, the thing that I'm worried about here is that some of my decks do run tutors. That does not necessarily mean that they are a, a, a good deck. In this system, your deck would be divided by its higher brackets of cards or cards. This makes it clear that cards go where and what cards are, uh, what kinds of cards you can expect people to be playing. For example, if Ancient Tomb is a bracket four card, your deck would generally be considered a four. So basically, you know, if you run one of those cards that is a bracket four, your deck is a four. But if you said, look, I don't, if, if that card's not in here, then it's only a two, then, you know, you've got that conversation you can have with people. It's kind of just opening up that rule zero and making it easier for that rule zero thing to happen, which they talked about previously uh, in the past, like they previously in the past, well, they talked about it previously that they wanted to make that rule zero's conversation easier. Um, and I guess this kind of makes it easier where you can just be like, look, my deck is a three, but if I take out this one tutor that I run in there, it's only a one. Do you mind if I play it against you guys who are playing twos or whatever? Um, will this system guarantee perfectly matched? No, uh, it, it's basically just so that way you can come to there, have that conversation, and it's an easier way to make that conversation. I love this part. I think that this is great in the regards of, hey, look, my deck is a four, but et cetera. Um, if people are going to be strictly sticking by, look, your deck is a four, get out of my pod, then you're going to have bigger issues. But I guess that comes down to more the people that you're playing against. This is going to be very interesting as well for CEDH. This is making it so instead of there just being one CEDH format, right, where, you know, every card is unbanned except for the ones that are already banned by the rules committee. This is going to make it so you've got CEDH bracket 4321. That is very interesting to me because I like finding out what people can do with that, like bracket two. Like, how do you make a CEDH deck that is a bracket two? Not a bracket two if I remove this, a just a flat bracket two. To me, that's a very interesting thing. Um, so this also says we're going to be evaluating the current card list banned. Uh, which is very interesting. So if we bring up the current bands list, we should be able to have a look at it. Um, where is it? Bands, 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 band list, band cards. So like in here, there's a lot of cards in here that are banned just because of power. Like, you know, Dockside banned because of power. Uh, Emrakul was banned at the time because of power. Um, you know, Hullbreacher banned because of power and stuff. But nowadays, it's not quite as bad for some of the cards that are banned because of power on here. Some of them that create unfair, like, you know, or uh, not unfair, like un unfun games, definitely, you know, they could potentially stay banned or they could just be banned in like, you know, uh, they like power three or below or something like that. Um, looking at cards that, you know, are banned on here, uh, maybe I'll make a video. Maybe I'll make a video on cards that could be unbanned from this. Because I do think that there is some that could be banned on here. Like, unbanned. Sorry, Lutri. I think that Lutri could easily be unbanned. And I really hope that they bring back banned as a commander and banned as a um, companion. Or as a part of this, it's like, look, your deck is a four if you've got Lutri as your companion. 
something like that. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, as I said, cautiously optimistic about this, but I completely understand that people can be worried. Uh, yeah, it, it's obviously not what the rules committee wanted. And I know it's not what a lot of the community wanted, but then, you know, a bunch of the community went and harassed the shit out of them and, um, stuff. A, a very, sorry, a very vocal minority went and harassed them either through, you know, direct death threats or just even just harassment is just bad enough. Anyway, I hope you guys had a great day. Let me know down below. Have a great day. Goodbye.